Okay, I did find an example where we can put this and actually do a problem with it. So here it is. Um, a solid disk rolls freely without slipping. So the rolls is clear and without slipping tells us, okay, we know how this is going down. Uh, that means it ties our translation motion to our uh, rotation uh, pretty uh, securely there. Starts from rest. Okay, that's the keyword. Uh, linear speed. And these things are telling us energy, right? <clears throat> linear speed um, from rest. We have initial and final. And that's and uh, speed. That all suggests energy is our way to go. And so we start off with our energy conserving. Work non-conserving is delta Ke. And I'm just going to write out translational plus delta Ke. Uh, rotational um, plus delta PE and what we have in this case is freely so that's this being equal to zero uh, from rest means that uh, KE total and it is equal to zero and after it is dropped <coughs> we'll take uh, PE initial is MGH, PE final is zero. <clears throat> so if we put all those two together, we end up with um, uh, KE uh, translational final plus KE uh, uh, rotational final is equal to PE initial. And we can put in some formulas for this. We've got a solid disk. And so <clears throat> as we're talking about a solid disk, we've got to uh, write down uh, what, the, um, uh, what the kinetic energy is for that. And we can do that. Uh, it's 1 half m v center mass squared, that's the translational part, plus one half i omega squared. And this again is still equal to our mgh. I took them up there. Uh, we can do the same trick as I did before. <clears throat> uh, make the omega, uh, bringing in an r, uh, and get the V center mass uh, squared. So this is one half M plus I over R squared. V center mass squared is equal to MGH. And now we can actually start solving for um, <clears throat> what's going on. If we put in I here for a disc is one half MR squared. then the, uh, you get the m plus one half m r squared over r squared v center mass squared equals m g h. Uh, the r's here will cancel out. So you end up with one and a half, that's three halves. And so you have uh, one half times three halves m V center mass squared is mgh. <clears throat> okay, the m's cancel out on both sides. And you are now left with a uh, three quarters over here. You bring that over. You've got um, four thirds. Take the square root V center mass is equal to the square root of four thirds gh. And if you run through the calculator on this one, it's 1.62 meters per second. Uh, <clears throat> now, if you remember what happens if it slid down, then this part wouldn't here, so we wouldn't have gotten the three halves, so we just got the two, and that's square root of two gh. And that's a comparison. This, of course, is less than that because we're putting some of the energy into rotation, not just kinetic, and it comes out as 
it says here. So that is our, um, our sort of final example bit that closes off 10C. And let me just show 